Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. I feared while I was recording, I might as well just keep going. And what I'm referring to is I am recording this right after I drew my winner for my sweet roll giveaway. I have absolutely no idea when I will post this because it's just kind of a random weird video, but I wanted to get this recorded so I could share with you at some point. I have a small haul of crochet books that I have collected recently and I wanted to tell you all. So since I have been trying to design the heart blanket for bingo, I thought it was time to finally buy this book that has been on my wish list for a very long time. It is Crochet Borders Around the Corner, Crochet Borders by Edie Ekman. And she's also the author of Beyond the Square Crochet Motifs and the Crochet Answer Book. Um, but um, I just got a messenger from Bridget. Hi, Bridget. I'll read that later. <laughs> um, so I've been eyeing this. I, frankly, I had seen the pictures and it looked like this. And I just thought it was like the top half of a book. So I was a little like, whoa, that's half a book. Where's the other half of my book? But nope, this is indeed the full book. <laughs> and I'm excited for this because I very much am enjoying trying to design this blanket. And having different ideas for a border I think is nice. On the heart, I don't think I'm going to use any kind of fancy border. But... It will be nice to have something like this to explore. And then Miss Melanie from Lethalia's Little Hook had recently shown this book and had pointed out how she thought the children would enjoy many of them. And I said, you are absolutely correct. I must needs get that. And I did. So this is Crochet Creatures of Myth and Legend um, by Megan Lapp. It's the creator of Crafty Intentions, and there are 19 designs. Easy, cute critters, the legendary beasts. And I am excited. It looks so cool. There is, of course, a unicorn, and ooh, there is a dragon here with phoenix wings, which looks very much like a Chinese-style dragon, which the kids really love Raya and the Last Dragon from Disney. So that will be something they will likely want at some point. But oh, these look good. And it looks like very, very specific instructions, which is great because I am very new at Anamurumi and this will not be anything I break into in the very near future, but I am very happy to have it. I want to work through that um, first book I got, The Crochet Cru Cute Critters by... I cannot remember her name, but she is the YouTuber Repeat Crafter Me. And then as I was looking at that one, this came up as a lightning deal. And I was able to nab this for, it was under $10. So I was like, yes, that shall be mine. So here it is. It is Crochet Magical Creatures 20 Easy Amigurumi Patterns. And I just thought it was adorable. Like, I don't even know what this is. Is this like a, a kitty corn? I don't know, but it is cute. And um, based on, it had excellent reviews. And based on the reviews, it seemed like it was quite beginner friendly. So after I finish that first book, this might be the next one I try. Nice. This is very cool. Oh, Ness. Ness. Wait. Sam, is this the one Mike is working from right now? I thought that was by Meteor Books, and this is Rock Ridge Press, but I wonder if it's a different publisher in the U.S. versus the U.K. Because I just saw Nessie, and it looks very familiar. And I am wondering... Oh, that enchanted mushroom is absolutely adorable. Okay, I can show these without, I think, too much giving away. Look at that box. And the reindeer. The lion is adorbs. And by the way, it is a Cosmo the Catacorn right there. In here. So there's Nessie. And look at that. Oh, Moira the Pegacorn. A hippocampus. A griffin. A phoenix. The cloud stripes are so adorable. 
Oh man. Okay. So I am excited for this. So maybe this is a stepping stone to the myth and legends book. Okay. Thank you so much for checking out my books. I'm excited about this one too. I just love books. I love having books. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.